So here we are with uh, probably the penultimate inside London Scottish of the season and I'm joined by the sixth but equally important uh, candidate or nominee for the Watchers of Switzerland Supporters Player of the Year, Aaron Lifchak. Aaron, welcome. Now it's taken this time of the season to get to talk to you because actually you've not been injured compared to a lot of the players. I think of the 26 games I've looked up, you've uh, a bit of a stato here, you started in 19 and you've been on the bench for the other seven. I mean, how have you kept that going? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Some would say uh, I'm just lucky, uh, I'm just looking for a bit of wood to touch somewhere. But no, fingers crossed, I've gone through this season, I've got picked up a little niggle now, but hopefully for the weekend I should be fine. But anyone who's seen you play will know that you've not been holding back. I mean, you, you go in there and actually you're right at the coalface. Yeah, it's... You know, scrummaging is one of my massive passions. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm not the tallest, uh, bigger stature. Um, so but difficult to scrummage against, I suspect. Oh, absolutely, and I sort of have to rely more on a sort of technical knowledge rather than just outright being a big fella. So hopefully, fit well. it seems that that's sort of working for me at the minute, and fingers crossed the next couple of seasons that will carry on working for me. Now, look, um, I want to talk about one of your uh, fellow nominees, if you like, Dan Mugford. Last Saturday at Mosley, he stepped up once again, the last minute of the game, not run over there, just to give us the bonus point. What happened at Mosley on Saturday? Um, I think, unfortunately, as an entire team, we we did struggle on the, on the day, and it shouldn't have been a situation. I think, to be honest, we've got to look at ourselves, especially in the forward pack. I think we've got to be accountable and be honest about that. And you know, thankfully, we've got you know we've got good enough coaching staff. We're going to obviously video review it tonight, and it, we will learn. And, we won't have any of those sort of problems this weekend, I guarantee that. Yeah, and this weekend, of course, I mean, it is a massive game both for ourselves and for Isha. One of the teams is going to take the drop. You're used to these kind of situations. Last season, you were playing for Barking. One of the two teams in the last game of the season was going to take the go up. I mean, how do you approach a game like this? Different to another game? Is there bigger pressure? Um, obviously, the pressure is there, and everyone's completely aware of the pressure. But I think you've got to approach it as you would any other game. If you start doing things differently, then you're going down a a sort of dark road, it, it gets a bit messy. Approach it any other way, you know, you expect to play 110% for every other game. We re we'll preview them, we review obviously our previous performance, there's a lot to re pre uh, review. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll, 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 we will, we'll come out on top. You heard it first. Now then, uh, I don't know if you saw the interview last week I did with the four boys or the one you saw with Cleves before that. Have you seen that? Yeah, I, I did. I, I saw that, yeah. Now, they, they were bigging you up big time. Now, was that was that sort of politicising, do you think? Were they trying to get... Was it another way of them getting votes by being I'm just sure kind to you? I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. They said some great words about you. And I think, you know, one of the things I said in that interview is forwards win games, backs decide by how mm. many. It really is you guys up front who do the... that. I was going to say dogged hard work to get the ball for the boys to the glory boys in the yeah, back absolutely. but nice to hear those those accolades uh, absolutely guys. and uh, you, there's, you don't go to many clubs where you know people appreciate a tight head and just to be nominated is a fantastic honour obviously by Simon and the rest of the coaching set up and if I get any sort of votes from the supporters it's absolutely fantastic because there's not too many supporters that will appreciate the dark arts or scrummaging uh, well I think it's because it's very difficult to understand what goes on in there. I remember uh, you know as a match fisher you'd ask a front row player afterwards and they'd sort of tell you and you think well how does that work you know mm. but you mentioned the supporters there supporters have been really key for us fantastic. this season haven't they fantastic I've, I've been fortunate I've, I've played at some fantastic sort of clubs throughout my career and you played with Cods even didn't I, pl you? I played at Cods yeah, yeah yeah right at the beginning of my career and Without a doubt, the Scottish the sports of the bagpipes and they're so vocal, and it, you really do feel, even at away games, you really do feel that they're creating a fantastic environment for you, and that's just so nice to play at. And hopefully, we will be rewarding that this weekend. And no doubt, we're going to have a big crowd on Saturday. I'm sure Isha will bring a lot of uh, yeah. people with them. It's going to be a tense day. I'm glad I'm not a match official anymore. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be refereeing it because it's a thankless task, particularly on a winner sort of takes all potential yeah, game. Absolutely. Um, now. I'm not at liberty to tell you what the votes are, but I do know they're very close across the board. So how are you going to persuade people maybe to vote? Maybe you don't want votes. Maybe you want them to vote for someone else. Uh, tell us your impression. Um, I won't try and persuade anyone. You know, all the boys that have been nominated have been absolutely fantastic. Everyone on their own merits deserves to win this award. And I genuinely would leave it up to the supporters to, you know, whoever they feel deserves to win the award. Well, that's, that's very diplomatic of you. I think I'm right in saying that the... Uh, it's going to be open until the midnight on Thursday, the 26th of April. It's going to be open. You can still vote till then. Of course, the supporters' club dinner on the uh, club end of season dinner, I should say, is on the 27th when the winner will be announced. Now, uh, I mean, I, I guess you know that you're putting that to the back of your mind. To be honest, right now at the moment, it's, <laughs> yes. it's the least important thing given the Saturday coming up. Are you looking forward to Saturday in a sort of perverse kind of way? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And there's no point playing 
big rugby and a professional league without these sort of games there. It would have been nice to have a little bit less pressure and us to have won a few games previously. And but it's the way it is, the way it goes, and everyone's really looking forward to it. And you, you know, you get people have to stand up and be counted. And I think we've got the boys to do that, and we'll be staying up. Now, great to hear that positive note there. We will be staying up. Um, you said yourself, you're quite small for a prop, but quite big for a winger, which is where I believe you've played in the past as well, which some people may not know. Um, yeah, not too many people know that. I tried to keep that. Well, they do like, now. <laughs> I, try, I try to keep that under my hat a fair bit. Um, up to 16, 17, I was, I was on the wing. Uh, unfortunately, a family holiday to, to America sort of put a stop to that. I put on a few stone, <laughs> uh, or the wrong few, few stone. And uh, they sort of thought, big, big guy, fatter, sort of moving into the front row. And, you know, fortunately for me, that's worked really well throughout my career. And I've still retained a little bit of pace. I just think there's no doubt about so that. Just to sort of surprise a few people. Fatter or more muscle mass? Uh, after America, it was definitely fatter. No, definitely fatter. <laughs> well, look, I, I know you've given a lot of entertainment, a lot of enjoyment, especially those people who do understand the dark arts, but also actually some of your work you do around the pitch as well. And that's, I'm sure, one of the reasons why you've been nominated. I, I wish you luck. I know everybody does there. If there's a message you wanted to give the supporters, what would that be for this just season? Thank you very much for all the support that you've given, and uh, we will be rewarding you this weekend. Aaron, very positive. Positive man. Great stuff. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Thanks very mate. much. Cheers, mate.